Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will look at the script activity in Automation Studio. Script activities give you the power and flexibility to do a lot more using programming in server-side JavaScript. Now besides AmScript, uh, server-side JavaScript or SSJS is one of the other programming languages supported in Marketing Cloud. Now if you look at the documentation, you will see that there's a lot of functions that are supported and they come under like two different libraries. One is the core library functions and the other one is the platform functions. So depending upon your use case, you need to like find out which functions fall under which library and how do you use them. Like there's a lot of uh, examples and syntax available here, so use them according to your use case. Now I have a, a couple of uh, tables or data extensions that I have here and let me walk you through the scenario that we're going to use the script activity for. So I have a DE here, uh, which is called the Retail Coupons. Uh, I'm storing all the coupon information for different events in this table. So at this particular time, I have like three events, uh, as you can see from this events table, uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And for these events, I have like coupons coming in that are getting loaded in every day, okay? And um, uh, the, the status of the, the coupons are like either they're claimed or not claimed. So if it's false, means this coupon is still available for use. And if it's true, means it's actually claimed, which means I cannot use that for uh, any um, any event. Okay. So right now, if you look at this data, you will see like uh, there is uh, at least one coupon available for every event, like for one, two, and for three. Uh, but if I go back to my events table, you will see that for event zero, three, there's actually no coupons available because as of last night when we when I checked the data that there was no coupons, but today's update, you know, I got a coupon available for this event and that's why it's, it's showing up as false here. So when I want to um, uh, like, you know, uh, run an automation, uh, I need to be able to go and update this table on a daily basis and, and check all the coupons available and then update the status for these events with the number of coupons available as well, right? So for that, we can use a script activity. So let's see how do we create a script activity. So if I go into Automation Studio in Activities, click on Script, Next. Let me give a sample name here. And as you can see here, this is where you need to like write the server-side JavaScript code. So let me just go ahead and copy-paste what I have. Okay, here, paste. Uh, so one thing you need to uh, ensure is like your code should be server-side JavaScript and you it must be within the tags as you can see here the script run at equal to server. I, if you don't give this uh, it will not show you an error even though the code is in, in SSJS and it's, it's a valid syntax but then it will not run properly. The, you will see the uh, output like you know, not generating uh, and you might be like wondering what, what's wrong. It, it will not show you an error. Okay, so ensure like you know your SSGS code is always inside the script run at equal to server tag, uh, ending with the script tag uh, slash script here as well. Okay, so go ahead and then validate your syntax. Make sure yeah it's it's all valid. Click on next and make sure the summary is all good, and then you can finish it out. So I've already saved this, so let me cancel out here. I have the event already done here. So if I go my to my automation workflow, all you need to do is like you to schedule it and then pull in a script activity from here into here and then uh, if you just want to like you know replace it just go select ensure the summary is good done and save it okay now we'll go ahead and, and run this one time so what what would need to happen is if you look at the code uh, it will it will actually go and uh, look through all the uh, coupons available in this table uh, and then uh, it will go ahead and update the specific events uh, in this uh, table here. And then if, if there's no more coupons available for any of the events, it'll make them false and then make it to zero. But if there is coupons available, then it will actually update them as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, run this automation here. Okay, that's the one. So run once. Okay, this option, run. Okay, let's go to the activity tab. So it might take a, a few minutes for it to kick off. So I'll just pause and come back once it starts running. Okay, you can see the job is running now. Uh, so we'll just give it a few seconds for it to like complete. Okay, and now the job is complete as you can see here. So let's go back to our table here. So based on this information, I should have at least one record uh, that uh, there's a valid coupon here. So this data should have been updated to true uh, with the number of coupons equal to one. So let me go ahead and refresh and see if that worked. There you go. 
it's actually updated uh, from the script activity that we had executed. So as you can see, this is a very uh, simple scenario, but yet very powerful and how you can use your script activity uh, to like, you know, run um, yeah, complex automation. Uh, a lot of use cases that's available if you want to like update your data extensions, any subscriber uh, properties, uh, unsubscribe information, etc. Right. So hopefully this was very helpful and thank you for watching.